What's up guys, Halif128 here, uh, bringing you a sure review, something that I just picked up, um, well, I picked it up last week, finally came in the mail yesterday, um, but I wasn't here to sign for it, so I had to go to the post office and pick it up today. Side note, the post office, terrible. Go UPS if you have the choice, I did not have the choice, UPS, always on time, or earlier most of the time, uh, by a day or so and UPS, uh, USPS, the post office, is just just awful. The tracking was all over the place. They, they finally came. They no one to sign. So I take it to the post office. The post office hours are terrible. I had to go on my lunch break, waste my whole lunch break. It was horrible. Anyway, I got the shoes. Haven't opened them yet. Got home a little while ago. I wanted to show you guys. Came in an enormous box. So far the best box I've seen was from Nike. The box is like a shoe box. It's just barely the shoe box just barely fits. Perfect. This box is just ridiculous. And let's see. From Packer Shoes in New Jersey. Got the receipt here. They were total with shipping was 170. I'll show you what they are in one second. Reebok box. They are. It's a Kamikaze 2 mid, size 9.5, Reebok Classic, in steel blue, and cyclone gray. Interesting colorway. Pretty excited. I've been waiting for this. Big time. This is, this is a nice shoe. If you haven't guessed already, these are the Packer Reebok Collabo to the uh, of the um, Kamikaze Mids, as you saw. The other one out of here. And the colorway is to pay homage to the 1996 All Star game, uh, which was played in San Antonio. Um, and these are called the Remember the Alamos. Um, now, as soon as I picked up this box and opened it up, I mean, these are extremely light. And I feel like I said the same thing about the Shack Gnosis. I really thought that the they were going to be very bulky and heavy, but these are lighter than most Jordans, and so are the Shack Gnosis. So that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, this is a crazy, crazy shoe. I'm really glad I was able to pick this up. These sold out. They were Packer.com exclusive. They sold out in the popular sizes in a couple minutes, and... Uh, pretty much every size. They released at noon. They were gone by every size by about 12.15 or 12.20. So I was able to pick them up in, in my size 9.5. Extremely lucky. They're already online on eBay selling for four or $500 a pair. So really glad I got a pair. So outsole on the bottom is this icy teal color. Really nice. Translucent. So you can see on the Reeboks, I don't know if you can see it, it's tough. 
it says non-marking out soul and your little hexalite tag um, you can see the hexalite through the bottom of the outsole um, which is probably what makes it so light um, hexalite is very flexible uh, makes it very light and you have your white Reebok logo however that goes uh, and a little hint of orange coming through and some black I really love this shoe, it's so many colors um, then the midsole just a crazy amount of colors you have the icy sole, you have a little bit of teal um, you have this color which is a dark gray, some cream white, some light gray some magenta, more dark gray orange and then icy and the orange wraps around the back all those colors on the other side toe box it's that cool sti uh, teal stitching around the icy toe box area and then, or the, under the toe box anyway. Toe box itself, I noticed when I took them out of the box, this one is a little bit creased, and I think it's due to the tongue. See, if I pull the tongue up, the creasing goes away a little bit. I think that's just the way they were shipped. I don't think they were worn or anything, but um, they don't really, Reebok doesn't really use good shoe trees. They just kind of pack stuffing in there. Um, so when they ship, sometimes that'll happen. Um, have to get a shoe tree to put in there, straighten it out. But the material on this toe box, this Jordan brand has been using Nubuck, Durabuck, everything but suede. This is suede. This is suede. See the color change? That's suede. That's real material. Jordan brand needs to take note. That is legit suede and it is incredibly buttery soft and then just above the toe box you see that 1996 logo stitched on there some Reebok branding on the front and then magenta orange and aqua color then uh, the upper has this cream color zigzag which is uh, tumbled leather really nice again good material tumbled leather little spots uh, and goes around in um, that beautiful suede again the little spot there and then the upper up top can't tell if it's light blue or white it's real real smooth leather uh, up top. As you can see there's some perforations too on either side or on the ankle area all through the, the materials except for the tumbled leather. Tumbled leather you don't really want to stitch or um, perforate typically. Then on the back Reebok branding except they changed the middle um, part of the Reebok logo to make it a chili pepper and then magenta and aqua color which is crazy cool. The pull tab, magenta, aqua, and orange also. Nice, uh, nice material also. Um, then the, my favorite part on the tongue, instead of Reebok, it says Packer in that Reebok font with the same um, Reebok logo with the chili pepper that's all aqua. Then the tongue itself. Um, more of that kind of light blue, whitish, sorry the light's really bad in here, uh, smooth leather. And this is kind of a soft, sort of like Durabuck almost, material with the tab up top. Um, mesh tongue, looks real breathable. Uh, and then you have standard white laces. And then one of the coolest parts of the shoe is the inside where it says Packer also in that Reebok uh, font with another Re Reebok chili pepper logo and then a bunch of little chili peppers 
on the insole with a uh, white sock liner. Let's see. There's the sizing. Then on the other shoe you have See, this one wasn't really creased up. A little bit, but, but not, not as much as the other one. I think the other one just got a little messed up during shipping. A little bit of dirt up top on the tongue. Nothing to be upset about. I gotta say, I mean, this is obviously a premium shoe made by Reebok. Whenever they, they team up with someone, um, you know, they really put their best foot forward. Uh, I've seen shoes that they do with Wish, which I really got at the um, end of last year, which was a solo cup shoe, all red, white inside, with um beer pattern on the, on the uh, insole. That was crazy. I wish I got those. They were pumps. Um, Packer also had some questions that they released, and Sneakers and Stuff has, uh, has a lot of kamikazes and... and uh, questions that they do. I think they make really nice shoes too. The sneaker about nothing is something I really wish I got. But of all the the Reebok uh collabos, I think this is this is the one. This is just a beautiful shoe. The materials, the colorway, everything about this shoe is just perfect. And you know, again what I was saying is they really just they really put a lot of work into it. Um, really make it look good something that, you know, Jordan Brand really just, you, you don't see collabos like this with Jordan Brand, and if you do, it's impossible to get, so uh, this one was, was a nice shoe to pick up for me. Uh, on the left shoe, pretty much everything's the same. It did come with a hang tag. Uh, it says, Ortholite Performance Insoles. Um... So I imagine that Reebok or, ooh, that does feel nice. Reebok or and or uh, Packer collaborated with this company Ortholite to to make those crazy design soles. And if you feel them, they're really soft. Something you know, something you'd pick up aftermarket and stick into a pair of uncomfortable shoes. Um, they're really really soft. Um, different different kind of material. So, that's about it. Uh, I'm glad that I got to share this with you guys. I'm really, really excited about this shoe. Really, really stoked that I got it. And uh, let me know if you guys copped a pair. Let me know if you wanted to cop a pair. And uh, keep your eye out, man, for these these uh, Reebok exclusives with... with um, small shops, boutiques, they they do a lot of them and the shoes are just super clean, just crazy good quality and and uh yeah, the, I'm I'm extremely happy with it and I know you would be too if if you got a pair. So, um like, comment, subscribe and uh oh, I did pick up or I ordered a pair of shoes today uh that I hope to have early next week, mid midweek next week. Um they are a classic shoe, also from 1996, actually. Uh, ironic, I mean, these aren't from 96, but the jersey was. Um, also from 96, uh, a shoe that really just, just brings me back to my childhood. Uh, my grandma bought me a pair back in 96, and I uh, don't have them anymore, but they retroed them, and I'm just pumped about it. Can't wait to get those shoes in. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. Um, with these, they actually made a full, uh, they made a line of clothing, too. Well, not a line of clothing. They made t-shirts that they handed out at the store in New Jersey for people who bought the shoe. They made hats that, for 35 bucks that sold out in, you know, almost as quickly as a the shoe. They released a little bit early. And then they made a Mitchell & Ness jersey, a hardcore classic jersey for, like, $300 that I was this close to getting. I think having the jersey and the shoes together would have been crazy, but uh, just $300 was a lot for the jersey, and I probably would have never worn it, so would have just kind of been a you know trophy sort of jersey to keep with the shoes, so I decided not to. Um, 
besides you can pick up cheaper ones on on like eBay, uh, you know Adidas ones or you know other brands that aren't Mitchell and Ness that aren't crazy good quality for a little bit cheaper. Uh, it was a really cool jersey though. Sean Kemp, uh, one that made these shoes famous in that '96 uh, game uh, with the navy and white colorway. So it's his jersey. Um, if you're still interested, go on eBay, check those out. Uh, it's a really, really crazy looking jersey, and you can really see why they, why they decided to make a shoe to go with that jersey because that was probably the nicest NBA All-Star Game jerseys they've ever made. So glad somebody paid homage to it. Uh, have a good night, you guys. Once again, like and subscribe, and I will see you next week with my uh, other new pickup.